Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to make a video today. I know it's been a while since I posted. My original plan was to do the Chloe Ting 25 day hourglass challenge and then post about once a week with how my progress has been. It has been much longer than one week since I was supposed to start. So I wanted to talk a bit about what's been going on, if that's still my plan um, and where I've been. I did start out doing the Chloe Ting 25 day hourglass challenge. Um, I was really enjoying it. I got about three days in. It was different definitely than the two week shred I had been doing before that. But overall it was going well. But what happened a couple days in, I think I was on like day three or four, I got a terrible migraine which had me like flat on my back, I had sunglasses on in a dark room, I just could not do anything, certainly not exercises. So I missed out on one day of the shred, which is fine, like we're not looking for perfection here and if you are sick or injured or anything like that, then you definitely shouldn't be feeling bad that you have to miss a day of exercise. So the migraine took me out for a day. I got back to it the next day and figured whatever, it's one day I can deal with this and like make up in the schedule. I can just move a rest day around. That was the plan. I got two days further. So, you know, the migraine was on day three or four. I'm now on day like five or six. And I got a horrible UTI. So I woke up one day thinking like, okay, it's, you know, whatever day of the schedule, I'm gonna like get going with this and I'm gonna feel so great with it. And I have had many bladder infections in my life, many UTIs. When I get them now, because I've had so many, I don't have to wait. I'm like within an hour of waking up and realizing like even just a slight twinge that I'm feeling, I'm like, yep, this is the start of a bladder infection, I need to get to a doctor. Because I know like originally when I first started getting them, I was doing my undergrad in university, I was around 20 years old and I hadn't had them before. So like I didn't recognize the symptoms and I would let them go a day or two without going to a doctor to get antibiotics. So uh, now it sucks that I have to get them so often, usually three or four a year, but I do know when I get them. And that means that I can address them quickly. I woke up that day, I realized almost right away, as soon as I went to the washroom, I was like, oh, yep, yeah, that's a bladder infection. That was probably around 10 a.m. I was in a little bit of denial at first. I was like, oh, maybe it's not, maybe I should wait an hour. And an hour later, it was definitely getting worse. So I was like, yeah, yeah, stop being in denial. You have a bladder infection. I went to a close by walk-in clinic to my house. And of course we're in the middle of a pandemic. So it's kind of hard to uh, find walk-in clinics that are accepting patients right now. A lot of clinics right now just do telephone conferences, unless it's something that you actually need to be in the clinic for, um, which I'm fine with. I've done telemedicine a lot and I really love it, it's super convenient. But for a bladder infection, you of course need to be able to provide a urine sample so that they can see that there is actually an infection. They're not just gonna prescribe antibiotics for no reason. So yeah, this was a thing where I couldn't do telehealth. I had to actually go into a clinic and see a doctor. I went to a clinic near my house. They didn't have any space for the rest of their day. I called another clinic that was less close to my house, but still a reasonable distance. They were apologetic saying, you know, sorry, we're already full for today. And I called a third clinic and they thankfully did have space left at 4.45. It was like one o'clock by this point, I think. So I booked myself in for 4.45. So I went home, I uh, got into bed and pretty much just laid there curled up all day, hoping that the pain would ease up. So I went to the doctor, 
did the urine sample and uh, absolutely I had a bladder infection. UTI, sorry, I keep saying bladder infection. I guess that's just what I'm used to calling them even though that's not what they are. Well, the doctor confirmed, yep, you've got an infection um, and you prescribed antibiotics. This is the first doctor that hasn't insisted on like punching me in the kidneys. <laughs> Every time I have a bladder infection and I go to the doctor, there's a concern that if you have a bladder infection, a UTI, especially if you have left them for a couple days, they can move up the urinary tract and get into the kidneys. Kidney infections are a much more serious thing, I am given to understand. So most doctors will insist on kind of like palpating your back around the area of your kidneys to make sure that there's no pain there, no infection in the kidneys. This was the first doctor I've had that uh, didn't insist on doing something like that, which was nice. I'm just as well with not having my back being punched by the doctor when I'm already in pain. He prescribed the antibiotics. I went and was able to get them. Went home, took the first round of antibiotics. It's a five-day course and waited to start feeling better. It took about, I'd say, a day and a half, like by dose three or four, I was feeling a lot better. Um, not nearly in as much pain anymore. Obviously, having been in the pain of the UTI, I didn't want to be doing my exercises. I barely wanted to be getting out of bed. But once I was starting to feel better, I was like, okay, I can do this again. But by this point, I had missed, like, I think between the UTI and the migraine, I had missed maybe, <laughs> oh gosh, I want to say like four or five days of the exercise plan. So I was kind of like, okay, I'll just start again from day one, you know, start back at the beginning and we'll go from there. But the thing was that at this point, we were only two days away from a road trip that me and my husband had planned, which was super fun. I had so much fun on this road trip. It was great, but I figured I don't really want to have to be dealing with when we're on vacation and I don't know what kind of space I'm going to be in. I don't want to have to deal with trying to do these exercises. It's just not, not going to do it. So I decided to wait until we came back, which we did late last night. But yeah, that's basically what happened. I am still fully planning on doing the 25 day hourglass challenge. I am really looking forward to it. Also a little bit <sighs> apprehensive about it because at this point I haven't done the exercises in like a week and a half or maybe almost two weeks. I know it's probably like gonna kick my ass the first day I go back into it. But hey, that's, you know, it happens. Oh, we move on and we get back on track. Setbacks happen. I have no more random medical problems. I do not have a migraine. My UTI has cleared up. So I am now ready to get back into the challenge. I am going to be starting day one today. As for the original plan, I will hopefully post an update video about once a week to see how things are going and then post a results video at the end of the 25 days. I am looking forward to it. As I said, it'll probably kick my ass the first couple days because I haven't been doing this lately, but I am super gung-ho to get back into it. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this update. I will be posting that Chloe Ting video in about a week from now. So hit the subscribe button, like, comment, share, all that good stuff. And until then, I hope you have a great day.